Hey everyone, welcome back to Morning Guides for another tutorial. Recently some of you wanted to see some effects using the reactor, so this is one of them. So, if you don't know what is a reactor, or you don't have it but you know about it, I'm leaving a link in the description so you can download it and install the plugins that you need for this video. So, as you can see, on the timeline I'm having a video for a background and an audio file under, a critical information about the audio file that it must be AAV 16-bit. When I got this out of the way, I'm leaving a text plus, I'm stretching it up to the length of the other two and going to the Fusion tab. And when you're in the Fusion panel, you can go to the inspector and on the text write as you wish. In my case, I'm writing subscribe because low-key I want you to subscribe. Down below, as you know, you can change the font and other settings. And once you're ready with all the basics, you can begin modifying it by right clicking on the size, modify width, and then you have to find audio AAV plugin. And if you don't see it there, that means you haven't installed it yet. Because like I said, I'm using the reactor. You can go on workspace, script, reactor and open reactor. Then go on the modifiers and look up for the name Suckless Audio. Like you can see, in my case, I have already installed it, so I'm gonna close it. But like I said in the video about the reactor, if you're installing something, you need to reset DaVinci Resolve in order to apply. So now I continue where I left. I just added this AAV audio plugin. And on the top of the inspector, we can see that the modifier is available now. So I click there. Then the first thing that you need to do is to go on the WAV file and browse your audio file that you're using in the timeline. Select it and open it to apply in DaVinci. And now you're seeing this oversized text, it happens every time. And the main reason for that is the mode that is set it on default. This plugin before, so I know how to fix it. You just need to go on the modes and switch it to median or unsigned median. Of course, if it's not working for you, you can switch it to minimum or average. But I think median will work just fine. And as I'm going through the video, you can still see that even when changing the mode, there are some still some frames that are the text going out of display. To fix that problem, we are going to the amplitude scale and in my case I'm reducing it by half, make it about 0.5. And basically the amplitude scale is the amount of strength that is put it on the motions. And by reducing it, it is not stretching the text that much. And now something else that you can do to improve the music video. I'm gonna add some sound waves, and to do that, I'll add the fusion composition. And like the others, I'll stretch it to make it the same length as the others. And while it is still highlighted, I'm going back to the fusion tab. Now I'm pressing Ctrl space to open the search tool for notes. I'm typing audio, and I'm seeing this audio waveform. By default, you shouldn't have it if you haven't installed it in the reactor. And if you don't, just open it like I said before. And in the search bar of the reactor, just type audio waveform and you will see it. Highlight it, press the install button and reset DaVinci to apply it. So now assuming that you have it, let's continue. I'm gonna close this window and I'm gonna connect this audio waveform to the media out. And then you will see this message telling you to add the audio. You can browse for it again and add it. At first it will look something like this. When you go to the edit tab you can see the whole picture. Then I'm going to the inspector and reducing the opacity to around 20% because I don't want the main focus to be on the waves since I have a text on the screen. And that way you will have the sound wave behind the text and the text pumping on the screen the same speed as the audio is going. And something else extra that you can do is that you can go on the envelope and switch it to special. This way you will see this display of waves. It is more compact and simple. And the other envelope that I have used, it is called positive and is the one that I have used in the intro of this video. And if you find this video helpful, I will very much appreciate if you leave a comment and like the video. Subscribe for more and see you in the next one.